Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out the second last Patch Tuesday security B-release update for Windows 11 23H2, which is KB5066793. And the reason I'm saying this is because the update rolled out late yesterday in my region on the 14th of October. And 23H2's support on Windows 11 ends on the 11th, which will be the second Tuesday of November, which is the day it will receive its final update and be release update for Windows 11 23H2. So once the update has been installed, the OS build will be bumped up to 22631.6060. Now it's quite a light release and I would think so because due to the upcoming end of support, I think Microsoft is just working on security issues being patched and stability with fixes. But the update first and foremost addresses security issues. And for Windows 11 23H2, we have 107 vulnerabilities that have been patched. Two are critical, the same as Windows 10, which is heap buffer overflow and elevation of privilege vulnerabilities. So 107 vulnerabilities have been patched in total when it comes to the security side of things for 23H2. And then just quickly, just to go through the rest of the fixes and so on, the security update contains fixes and quality improvements from KB5065790, which was released towards the end of last month. I posted on that. I'll leave the video linked, but just a quick recap. It included fixes for several bugs, like a sign-in issue, a printer queue bug, a remote desktop protocol RDB bug related to multi-monitor setups, fixed a known issue, and more. Check the video out for more info. It will be linked. Now, over and above those fixes, Microsoft has rolled out one fix and a removal as part of this update. I think Microsoft's just trying to finalize things with 23H2, where there's a fix for PowerShell, where the update addresses an issue that affects PowerShell remoting and Windows Remote Management, WinRM, where commands might time out after 10 minutes. And there's a removal for compatibility, where the update removes the LTM DM 64.sys driver. And the reason for this, Microsoft says, is that fax modem hardware dependent on this specific driver will no longer work in Windows. So guys, just a quick overview as to what's happening with KB5066793, the second last update for Windows 11 23H2. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.